Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel, the Common Sense. I, I'm just excited. I'm excited of stupidity. I'm I'm excited because of his stupidity. Now, if you've clicked on the video, you've obviously read the title, so you know what this story is going to be about. We're going to have a little bit of fun, but also at the same time, we're also going to be looking at the horrible practices in which some people practice. Yeah, let's 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 get into the video, guys. Let's do this, shall we? Let's do this. So, as you can see, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at vampire facials. So, if you want to reverse the aging process, you could give smothering yourself in blood a try. And no, we'll get into it. But it's not just going with your own blood. It's a little bit different to that. So, the cosmetic procedure, which has been nicknamed the vampire facial, has made famous by Kim Kardashian, but what is it? And how does it work? And doesn't that look beautiful? All that blood, all that lovely blood everywhere. Doesn't that just make you look beautiful? Mwah! Beautiful, love it, yeah. So, what is a vampire facial? So the proper name for the vampire facial is platelet-rich plasma, or PRP therapy. It's essentially, apparently, a regenerative therapy which uses nothing but the patient's own blood. See how that, oh my god, that's how they do that, look at it. They literally have a needle that's being stuck into your skin and then the blood being pushed into your skin. Not into the veins of your skin, but into the actual skin. Yeah. So, in PRP, a needle is used to draw blood from the client's arm. The blood is then spun in a machine to remove platelets. The plasma from the blood is extracted and splattered on the client's face using tiny acupuncture style needles to rejuvenate their face. Those promoting PRP say it should, not that it does, not that it does, but it should. Improve the appearance of wrinkles, scars, and stretch marks. Rejuvenate the under eye area. Tighten stubborn open pores. And plump and volumize any area where someone might otherwise get fillers. Yeah. So basically a cosmetic surgery where you are apparently, in my understanding, filling up the skin with blood to take away the actual huh, old age. The appearance of wrinkles, scars and all that sort of stretch marks and rejuvenate stuff. The amount of idiocy that must go into this. I'm going to put needles into your face and put blood into your face that's not going anywhere, that's just staying in your skin, and somehow that is going to help you look younger. Now, this isn't the story, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, no. This isn't the story. I'm not making fun of this. This, this could almost be considered normal nowadays, which in itself is a debilitating, worrying aspect of life at this moment in time. 
but it could be considered normal. But what's not normal is getting HIV from having this procedure done to yourself. Yeah. Moving on to the next story. So this is the actual story. So Per who had vampire facials or literally sticking needles in their face and filling it with blood. Literally. Not not figuratively. Literally. Was diagnosed with HIV. Now, how? How could these people be diagnosed with HIV when using their own blood now before we get into the story there's two ways two me personally i personally think that it's not good needle care i personally think that it will be something along the lines of the blood that's being taken from the arms and the veins the needles themselves are not cleaned properly or the syringes are not cleaned properly one or other that's that's what my personal responses or the more unlikely culprit or situation could be that they are using other people's bloods to put into your face now that in itself apart from hiv becomes very very worrying if that's that's true that becomes very very worrying to the point of is your blood really your own blood? And is it really being put into your face? By your own remission? I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of lost. I'm kind of lost. The, the, the sad thing is, I accept that vampire facials are real and that people are idiots enough to go and get it. I, I accept that. That's the world I live in. I accept that this... Is probably true and people do this I accept this and that worries me more but let's go back to the actual story so and two people had the treatment which involves having blood plasma spread across their face to stimulate skin cell growth uh, no scientific facts with that but hey so health officials are investigating after two people had vampire facials last year have recently been diagnosed with HIV. So the pair had the treatment at the VIP spa in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The spa closed in September last year after an inspection found unsafe practices that could have spread blood-borne infections such as HIV to clients. Hmm. So, the New Mexico Department of Health is offering free and confidential testing for HIV, Hepatitis B and Hepatitis C for any clients who have received, most important point here, injection-related procedures there between May and September 2018. So, that would suggest that my hypothesis at the beginning was correct that it is due to either not cleaning the syringes or the needles themselves or cylinders whatever you want to call them but the actual needles themselves weren't being cleaned properly that's where i get from this that's that's where i am at at this moment in time i honestly think that that's absolutely appalling especially from somewhere that is um obviously taking clients on through privatization now that doesn't mean that i'm trying to say that oh the whole american system is private i'm not saying that i'm saying that it's a cosmetic surgery it's not covered by insurance as it's cosmetic so that means private people are paying a private practice to do cosmetic surgery on them in which they can't even clean the needles properly that's amazing that that's happening in nowadays Yes, I use nowadays because I didn't want to use in 2019 because that's a trope that's used fairly often. But generally, it's 2019. Why aren't you actually doing proper bloody medical procedures and just 
not using the same fucking needles over and over again, or to save a pretty penny. That's amazing to me. In your aspect of saving a pretty penny, you have got people confirmed as being HIV positive due to a procedure they had for cosmetic surgery. Now, don't get me wrong. The vampire facials are fucking stupid to begin with. And I agree, they're fucking stupid to begin with. And people that are having them should be mocked mercilessly. But, but, and there is a big Kardashian but in this. The people that are doing this should not have the worry of having extra precautions that are coming from them. Extra conditions to worry about. Because the people that were providing these services... I use that term loosely. But services should be making sure that the people providing the services are trained, that the implementations of the services are correct and upheld to the FDA regulators. And most importantly, that the fucking equipment is sterilized and not used consistently when it comes to bloodborne fucking diseases. But hey. Just wow. So that's that's the story that we had for you today a little bit of funniness at the beginning to point out the fact that people that have vampire facials are fucking lunatics and crazy motherfuckers to even begin with but then secondly even with that craziness still comes from medical professionals apparently and people that are being privatized that are not adhering to medical practices and fda regulators and regulations now that's not to say that all medical practices and all privatization practices or private practices are not held up to a high regard because this could have happened in national services for instance it could have happened in the nhs if we let people have cosmetic surgery for, on the nhs besides the point but that could happen anywhere it's to do with the people that are in the practices not how the practices are set up but that's not what the argument is for today. That's not the argument in general. It's more of a point of going, oh fuck, you stupid fucker that wants to have vampire facials are wondering why you now have problems. And no, that's not victim blaming. I'm not blaming them. I'm saying that people that want to inject blood into their face, into their face, are wondering why that they're having blood problems and blood diseases or conditions. Again, it is the fault of the people in the practice. It is the fault of them, not the people that want the stupidity. But some form of personal responsibility should be maybe wait a little bit. Check out where you're going. Check to see the practices and how they're actually performed and ask questions. And generally, you know, don't stick blood in your face. <laughs>